I'm Jamie. I am one of the textile conservators. So this is a dress that was worn by Lee Miller when she was pregnant with Anthony um, in 1947. We have, we're so lucky to have an amazing collection of photographs from the archive and uh, it shows Lee wearing this dress when she was nearly, nearly full term, I think. So um, this is a very significant piece because it's a very natural day-to-day -day dress that she obviously felt incredibly comfortable in um, over a very hot summer and um, we're now preparing it for exhibition. So we decided to wet clean this garment because um, it's cotton. It had become quite yellow, I suppose, over time, and that's just the natural deterioration process. Um, cotton is very susceptible to light, to just general pollutants in the air, and um, you know, fabric degrades over time. So the yellowing is normally the degradation products that are sort of redepositing on the fabric. So they can make the fabric quite acidic and we decided to wet clean this because we can remove some of those and improve the appearance, hopefully, but more importantly, increase the pH slightly so it will help the longevity of the piece. So this is the wash table that we uh, set up at nine o'clock this morning. Um, the dress went in for its first soak and it will probably be a full day in the process. We use um, conservation cleaning is kind of quite different to uh, what you do at home. It's very controlled, very gentle, and we do it over a number of um, stages. So it will go into an initial soak and then it will have a very mild detergent solution added and the object will be fully sponged with these very gentle sponges that help to um, release the soiling. And then it will have a series of running and standing rinses and the process is repeated. We continue to check the color of the solution so we know what's coming out, the pH of the solution for the same reason, and we sort of edit our process based on our findings as we go. So this is quite a fine material. It doesn't take very long to re release the soiling. Um, and so we'll probably just do a second detergent solution and then move on to rinsing. But the rinsing itself can take twice as long as the washing process. So we're looking into sort of later on in the afternoon for finishing. And then we need to make sure it's completely dry before we leave the building, because if you have any dye bleed on an object, it can often happen in the final drying stages when the fibres are um, uh, sort of changing at different rates. So, yes, so we'll then um, pad the shape, dry it as quickly as possible um, with towels, with hair dryers, um, with fans, and reshape it at the same time. So, the dress that we've been conserving today, uh, which is in the wet cleaning bath at the moment, is going to be going on this mannequin, which I'm padding up for um, uh, Lee's maternity shape, pregnancy shape. So, so we're really lucky to have this photograph of Lee from the side wearing this dress when she was quite heavily pregnant. And it really helps to understand the ratios of the body and the pregnancy bump, which is sitting quite high. And I'm trying to, um, and also how the dress will be worn over the top. So I'm trying to replicate the way that it's sitting in this photograph on the mannequin.